Welcome back to the third lecture in our PCI DSS implementation guide video series. In our previous lectures, we explored the fundamental concepts of PCI DSS, understanding what it is and its main objectives. Today, we embark on a crucial step in the PCI DSS compliance journey, scoping. Understanding PCI DSS scoping. Firstly, let's dive into scoping. Imagine it as the compass guiding you through the vast landscape of PCI DSS compliance. Scoping involves identifying all the elements in your system, the people, processes, and components that interact with or could impact the security of cardholder data. This includes everything from network devices, servers, and applications to the employees who may have access to the cardholder data environment, CDE. For example, for an online retail business, the scope might encompass the e-commerce website, transaction processing gateway, and the end user's web browser. In a more intricate setup, multiple payment processing systems, databases, third-party service providers, and numerous point-of-sale devices may need consideration. CDE identification and segmentation. Having defined your scope, the next step is to pinpoint your cardholder data environment, CDE. This is the heart of your data security, the system storing, processing, or transmitting cardholder data and sensitive authentication data. Think of it as highlighting the core elements in a complex structure to channel your security efforts effectively. Segmentation, though not a PCI DSS requirement, is a valuable practice. It involves creating secure zones within your network to isolate the CDE from other systems. Technologies such as firewalls, Reuters with strong access control lists, or other security features can be employed to restrict data flows between the CDE and other network components, reducing the scope and complexity of the PCI DSS assessment. Technologies and techniques. Moving on, let's explore the technologies vital for PCI DSS compliance. Firewalls act as the initial defense, safeguarding the CDE from unauthorized access. Intrusion detection or prevention systems monitor network traffic for potential threats. Secure coding techniques, including protections against SQL injection and cross-site scripting, are crucial. Encryption emerges as a key player in protecting cardholder data, whether in transit or at rest. Additionally, tokenization, replacing sensitive data with unique symbols, offers a method to retain essential information securely. In conclusion, while the PCI DSS journey may appear challenging, understanding scoping, CDE identification, and segmentation empowers businesses to secure their critical data effectively. By leveraging both established and cutting-edge technologies, businesses not only ensure compliance but also build trust with customers, contributing to a safer, more secure digital world. Stay tuned for our upcoming lectures as we delve deeper into the intricacies of PCI DSS implementation.